All right, everybody, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, I am with my buddy Blade. Hello. We are on our way to Alliance Council, which is, uh, I'm part of a group of churches called the Christian Missionary Alliance, and we're having our national conference called Council in Spokane, Washington. And so I know Blade because he was an intern at my church uh, some years ago. Yeah. He flew out here, spoke at our church, and we are road tripping out to Spokane. So it's been an awesome trip so far, good to catch up. And I'm going to film a little bit of this time at Council. And so I invite you to come along with me on this adventure. Like and subscribe, watch that kayak video that we have. Oh yeah, <laughs> Blade cool. is in a handful of videos that yeah. I've uh, done. So right. subscribe to my channel and check out Kayaking on a Rainy Day, I think it was called. Right. Also check out Climbing Mount Eleanor. Lino Backpacking, Lake? what was it called? Lino Lake? Lino Lake? Backpacking Lena Lake. Anyway, Blade is in all of those. We've had yeah. we have been on some adventures together. And so you can maybe find out if uh, Jesse finds the uh, ice cream or the snow oh, cones. Oh, Not yeah, the yeah. snow cones. If you could have a snow cone right now, what kind would you get? Um, yeah, blue raspberry. Yeah, mixed with cherry. Not coconut. No, not coconut. There would you have you it. Get coconut? No, probably blue raspberry. It's good. It's good flavor. It is. All right, well, come along with us on this adventure. The hotel I'm at had a bicycle that you can borrow. <laughs> But Spokane is a, just a beautiful city. And uh, riding my bike around, along the riverfront. I had to come check out this sculpture because I think it moves. I think it floats around. I saw it from over there and it looked like it was moving. Is it moving? It's kind of hard to say for sure. But yeah, I'm finding myself here this morning with um, just a little bit of a break before things get started. And I'm finding myself just a little bit unsure of what to expect, which is kind of funny to me because the theme for this week is expectant. And so I thought I would try to just take a little bit of time this morning just to kind of have my hands open. God, what do you want me to be expecting for this week? Uh, because I think it's going to be a pretty incredible week, just spiritually and personally for me, as well as many others, I'm sure. So I'm excited to be here and not really sure what God wants to do this week, but I want to be part of it. Also, I do think this sculpture is ever so gently moving. So tonight was our last night of the conference, and it's just been awesome to be here. Oh man, I had such a great week. Got to connect with some, uh, some people that I don't get to see very often. Um, I got a whole bunch of notes of things that I felt like God was saying to me that I just kind of jotted down and haven't had a lot of time to process yet. But one thought I will share with you. The, uh, the first night the speaker was talking about 
um, how we can live our life in fear or in expectation. He used the word adventure, which of course, you know, caught my attention because my YouTube channel is about music and adventure. And I'm finding that uh, adventure is kind of like a value in my life. <laughs> I want to be a kind of person that uh, lives life like an adventure because it is an adventure. Well, he kind of suggested that the life of faith is a life of adventure. And especially when we're facing um, unknown circumstances or um, have a need, we find, you know, it makes me stressed out and it makes me worry and um, lose sleep, that kind of thing. But he suggested, you know, that as we live a life of faith and trust in God, what if instead of living in fear, you know, what if this doesn't come together? What if, um, what if I don't have the things I need? What if this trouble persists? What if we lived a life of sort of adventure? Like, well, God, kind of curious how you're going to work this out. <laughs> like, well, God, I'm trusting you. Um, just kind of excited to see what you're going to do with this situation. And it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that I'm lazy, that I procrastinate the steps that God's asking me to do. I mean, I think obedience and faith go together. We have to, to do the things, step out in the ways God has called us to step out. But man, when, there's, when, when we're not sure what to do and we don't have what we need, um, trust, you know. God, what are you going to do here? What an adventure. I get to watch you work this out. So I've been able to experience this in a very small way this week in my own life as I'm here at this conference and I have, you know, responsibilities and uh, tasks that still need to get done. I had an email that required a decision from me and I was feeling kind of stressed out about the decision because I felt like if I make this decision, I might make this person unhappy. If I make that decision, well, I might make some other people unhappy. And I was just sort of at a loss. I also didn't know which decision was the wise choice to make. And every time I thought about it, I started to feel pressure, like, oh, I have to decide on this. Plus, I'm here at this conference, and I'm like, I don't really want to think about this right now. <laughs> and so I started feeling pressure, and I started feeling like this is the kind of thing that I could start losing sleep over. But I remembered uh, what the speaker said, living in expectation. And I was able to kind of, every time it came up in my mind, and I wanted to get stressed out, wanted to get worried about it, it was good to just go, okay, God, I don't know what to do, but would you show me what decision is the best one to make and kind of be able to put it aside and go well you know I'll keep thinking about that keep asking God to show me and when he does I'll make a decision and a couple of days went by it kind of come up in my mind every now and then I would sort of do that same thing and eventually just sort of became like you know what I think the right decision is this and I just had a lot of um, confidence in it and it sort of just felt like God um, you know kind of guided me that way and it was like yeah that's what I need to do don't don't worry and stress just trust uh what an adventure you know God when are you gonna like show me what to do how, how are you gonna show me and what are you gonna have me do anyway that was a very simple small example with a small stressful thing but I think no matter how big the the, the struggle we're facing is we can live a life of trusting God and it is kind of an adventure, you know? What's God going to do now? Anyway, this conference has been awesome. This is my last night in Spokane. Got to get up early and take uh, Blade to the airport. You met Blade at the beginning of this video. He's flying back to the East Coast, and I'm his ride to the airport in the morning. So got to make sure get him there on time. But that's where I'll end this video. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you like music and adventure, subscribe to my channel because I've got some more adventures coming up and likely some more music as well. So thanks so much for watching and uh, see you next time.